Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about a literary device and this literary device is anacoluthin. So anacoluthin means whenever there is a kind of interruption within a sentence, this is called as anacoluthin. Now uh, I am talking about how a writer uses this literary device in his works. So when a writer is talking about an idea, so um, while discussing that idea, he stops discussing uh, that idea and starts discussing over another kind of idea in a same sentence. This is called as anacoluthin. Anacoluthin ka matlab hai jab ek writer kisi ek idea ke baare mein discuss kar raha hota hai and wo us idea ko discuss karte samay usse adhura chhod deta hai and wo dusre idea ko ek dam se discuss karne lag jata hai. This is called as anacoluthin. And jab wo ek dam se dusre idea ko discuss karega to wo kahi na kahi pause lega. So anacoluthin is a kind of sudden break usually in mid part of sentence and this sudden break in mid part of sentence indicates that there is a depiction of sudden change in ideas by a writer. So when uh, Anacoluthin means that when there is syntactic deviation. So syntax ka matlab kya hai ki bhoat saare words uh, mil jul kar ek a meaningful sentence produce karte hain. But uh, anacoluthin involves syntactic deviation. Yani haa par words ka jo order hai wo pura ka pura disturb ho raha hai. Kyunki sentence ke beech mein interruption ho raha hai jis ki wajah se syntactic deviation ho raha hai. So when there is syntactic deviation and interruption within a sentence from one structure to another this is called as anacoluthin and in if i explain this term in uh, this uh, literary device in a more simplified way so uh, in this uh, anacoluthin there is interruption and also expected sequence of grammar is uh, absent so in uh, anacoluthin there is absence of expected sequence of grammar then there is also absence of logical order in a sentence uh, so that is why uh, anacoluthin involves a kind of interruption within a sentence from one construction of from discussion of one idea and then a writer starts discussing over uh, another idea suddenly in a same sentence which involves a kind of disruption in logical order of a sentence and anacoluthin is more uh, somehow related to this uh, stream of consciousness technique wherein a writer while using this stream of consciousness technique a writer also discusses about uh, uh, or he tries to discuss things which are related to present but he suddenly he starts discuss, uh, discussing over things which are related to past so he keeps on shifting his uh, viewpoints and telling about things which are related to past and present and this causes a kind of disruption in logical order and also there is also a disruption in grammatical order of a sentence if a writer uses anacoluthin or stream of consciousness uh, technique in a work because in uh, also in this uh, stream of consciousness technique thoughts are not coherent and also in anacoluthin uh, thoughts are not coherent because a writer at some points of time discusses about uh, one idea then he starts over discussing over another kind of idea so uh, this uh, lack of uh, coherence in idea also creates a kind of disruption and uh, there is also a lack of grammatical sequence in uh, stream of consciousness technique where uh, in in anacoluthin we also notice this same thing now i am discussing about this anacoluthin in a more detailed manner so this anacoluthin is derived from the greek word which means anacoluthin which means lacking sequence so here a writer tries to talk about things and those uh, talk about those kinds of things which are not correlated with each other means a writer at some points of time is concentrating upon one idea and suddenly he starts discussing over another kind of idea so this causes a kind of disruption and which causes lack of sequence so there is no coherency whenever a writer is trying to write any kind of uh, sentence in a work 
a writer writes sentences in a very disordered form in which syntax of a sentence does not correlate with whatever is expected yani ki a writer jab bhi kisi idea ke bare mein discuss karta hai to reader ko ye expectation hoti hai ki aage chalkar bhi writer isi bare mein baat karega but agar wo suddenly ek idea ke bare mein discuss karta karta wo suddenly dusre idea ke bare mein discuss kar lega to isse kya hoga इससे एक रीडर की एक्सपेक्टेशन जो राइटर से होनी चाहिए वो टूट जाएगी सो so, यहाँ पर कहने का मतलब है कि आ राइटर राइट सेंटेंसेस इन अ वेरी डिसऑर्डर्ड फॉर्म इन विच सेंटेक्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस डज नॉट को रिलेट मीन्स मीनिंग ऑफ अ सेंटेंस डज नॉट को रिलेट विद वॉट एवर इज एक्सपेक्टेड बाई अ रीडर फ्रॉम अ Now I am talking about uses of anna colutin so by using anna colutin a writer makes his writing more realistic because here uh, while using this literary device he is inscribing his real thoughts means re- natural thoughts in our text so whatever uh, is running in his mind so he is simply penning that uh, thought in a टेक्स सो मोर रियलिस्टिक डायलॉग एना कॉल्यूथन का यूज़ करके हम एक राइटर अपनी रियल थाट्स के बारे में रीडर्स को कन्फ्रंट करवाता है देन इट कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज बाई आर राइटर विद लैक ऑफ स्किल्स सो वेन एवर आर राइटर इज न्यू इन दिस राइटिंग फील्ड ही डज नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज सो ही ऑल्सो यूजेज एना कॉल्यूथन इन विच ही ट्राइज टू टॉक अबाउट एन आइडिया एंड वाइल डिस्कसिंग ओवर दैट आइडिया ही स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग ओवर अनदर काइंड ऑफ आइडिया और ही इज ही स्विच इज फ्रॉम वन आइडिया to another idea so a new writer who is new in this writing field also uses anna colutin in his works then someone lacks understanding of grammatical rules yes if uh, we do not have any kind of knowledge about gra- grammatical rules so then also we use anna colutin because we uh, uh, फाइल यूजिंग दिस एना कॉल्यूथन वी टोटली ट्राई टू डिस्ट्रप्ट नेचुरल ऑर्डर और अ काइंड ऑफ वी ट्राई टू टोटली डिस्ट्रप्ट कोहेरेंसी इन अ सेंटेंस एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज वेल सूटेड टू द स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस राइटिंग स्टाइल येस मोस्टली वी सी दैट एना कॉल्यूथन दिस लिटरेरी डिवाइस यूज बाई राइटर्स हु आर मोर फैमिलियर विद दिस स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस राइटिंग स्टाइल so these are some uh, few examples of anna colutin uh, first is that i needed to buy a car so i went to ki mujhe car leni thi isliye main bahar gaya never mind i already have a car सो so, यहाँ पर एक पॉइंट पे वो ये कह रहा है कि मैं मेरे मेरे को कार लेनी थी इसलिए मैं बाहर गया देन वो कह रहा है कि कुछ नहीं होता मेरे पास कार्स ऑलरेडी है देन आई कॉन्ट बिलीव क्रिसमस इज कि मैं मेरे को विश्वास नहीं होता कि क्रिसमस फेस्टिवल आने वाला है आई हैव आई जस्ट हैव एंड फिनिश्ड माई शॉपिंग येट कि मैंने अभी तक अपनी शॉपिंग पूरी नहीं की है तो यहाँ पर एक पॉइंट पे वो क्रिसमस के बारे में डिस्कस कर रहा है जो कि एक फेस्टिवल है देन अनदर पॉइंट पे वो शॉपिंग के बारे में डिस्कस कर रहा है तो ये दोनों ही चीज़ें क्या इंडिकेट करती है कि ये एग्जाम्पल एना कॉल्यूथन का है जहाँ पर एक राइटर एक आइडिया के बारे में डिस्कस करता हुआ उसे पूरा ना करके दूसरे आइडिया को डिस्कस कर रहा है देन विद दिस दिस वीडियो लेक्चर एंड हेयर होप दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल हेल्प यू इन योर यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एग्जाम्स थैंक यू